So let us check our string operators now. As we have already discussed, which we can use a strings for checking out or checking out our operators and variables. Same here, we can use different kind of operators using the string called as equals to. So equals to will be used for look, again checking out two of different operators. We have variable one and variable b, but we do not have any expressions added into it. So directly we can add your a and b and we can check whether this particular variables which we have added are equal or not. Same way we can use not equals to sign which we can also use into your operators, other operators as well where we can compare both the values and we can define they are not equal to or not. Next we have hyphen z, hyphen z will check whether the value of this variable is 0 or not. If it is 0, the value will get true and if it is false, if it is not 0, the value will get false. The next we have hyphen n. Hyphen n is for checking whether the value of a is 0 or non-zero. So generally hyphen n means non-zero. So hyphen n of a is non-zero that means the variable a is not 0. It can be above number after 0. It can be 1, it can be 2 but not a 0. Then we have str. str means empty string. We do not have anything into the variable a. Just variable we have created. We can letter add the strings by using the input commands or we can add it letter by us. So these are the different type of string operators which generally we have. So let us check on our terminal how we can use these operators into our program. So here in condition I have checked for my uh, same file with the a particular value I'm going to add and I want to enter a file name so it will read a file name and it will check whether the file it is a file or it is directory if it is a file it will show me this is a file if it is directory it will show me this is a directory so this is a just uh, I'm going to check the file if I use hyphen D it will check for the directory if I use hyphen F it will check for the files so right now I want to check for the files if it is a file it will show me is a file if the name is in the directory it will show me it is a directory so let us check how it works now here I'm going to add a file now touch sample file 1 this is a file and same way I'm going to add a directory with demo dir1 okay and I'm going to run sh and then the file name I'm going to add uh, and then first I need to run the script that is if.sh I'll add the file name now I'm going to add the file name as sample file 1 so it is showing me it is file if I run the commands or if I run the script again and if I define demo dir1 so it is showing me it is a directory so automatically it will detect whether the uh, input I have provided whether the name of the file I have provided whether it is a file or it is a directory so this way we can also check whether we are uh, using a file or a directory same we can also check whether we have uh, set any um, your uh, user IDs or you can say group IDs or security group IDs for the file or uh, folder or not so for that I can just change it in such a way I can just make it hyphen G so I can uh, provide the entries and I can change the echo file and I can show it as such as not set actually this is not set right so we can just have created the file as we know we haven't set any particular permission to our file or directory so uh, just I'll run the same if dot sh and the file name I'll define the file name I had that was a sample file 1 so it is not set right so it will always check for the SID SGID whether we have defined a security group ID for it or not so this we have seen uh, how we can define and how we can use the uh, same operators that is your file string operators even if I want to check for the directories I can so that I can check for whether the file name is a directory or it is a file 
so I'll just define D and here we'll set if the uh, value is a file or a directory it should show me it's a directory or it should show me it is a file so let us check give me the command sh if dot sh I'm going to define the name demo dir1 so it's showing me it is a directory file 1 showing me it is a file so this is how generally we can use our file string operator as well so uh, using this particular operators are you know you will it will be very helpful for you when you start using creating the loops or you when you start creating your own programs so you can use any of these operators over there and it will perform it won't get conflicted with the other operators if you have already used into the same loop so you can use any mixture of any operators so here I have completed with the operators into the next video we are also going to see many more things what we can add into the uh, shells and uh, defining the conditions to the shell so for that keep watching